All right, so welcome everyone. We're going to talk about precision farming. I don't know. It's a little bit confusing, so I just kind of wanted to make a video on what I knew about it so far. Um, I know if you do use it, um, if you if you have the mod downloaded and you don't use it, you actually take a penalty. So anytime that you say the old way, we would just spray the fields and we just spray the whole thing. Well, when you do that, you're you're getting a penalty. So anytime that you don't do all the stuff it wants you to do when you sell the crop, you're losing money. Uh, actually, it, and it can be quite substantial. It actually can cost you a lot of money if you're using the DLC but not using it. So it comes with this. This is actually a soil sampler. Um, this is why you can run around and get soil samples. This sprayer right here is... Uh, this is the one that comes with the pack. It's a free DLC pack too for everything, so it doesn't matter what you're playing on. Uh, we're, we're doing this on the PC, but I have it on the Xbox too. So This is actually a sensor. This is a crop sensor. Senses nitrogen and senses everything. Gives you data. And then the tractor also has them as well, so I put them on there. So I wouldn't have to have this, but I think this is actually more accurate data. So most of the equipment has the option not everything but a lot of the mods are have it the 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 actual row track over there behind us it has it on there and uh, this here like i said this isn't part of the the precision farming but i have this loaded with uh, lime just in case we need it and it has the sensors on it as you can see right up there so that way it will give us correct data now what we're going to do, just for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and open this up real quick and uh, show you this. Whenever you do the precision farming, it adds this to it. So you, you, your data, this, this is the data that's been collected so far. I went ahead and re, started replanting that field. So here's the data that you have from it so far. And it shows you. It's, and it shows you what, what's going on. So to this point, this is what it's done. I've put this on it. Let's see. Then we'll go over here. And we will... We'll go ahead and finish this. This one, I'll just show you. This is another part. As you can see, it shows the nitrogen levels. And it shows the variable seed rate. So that's another feature that changes as well. So we will go ahead and do this. And it saves you money. It saves you money on spraying. It saves you money on seeds. It kind of saves you money all the way around. Really. So and it, it'll change. It's seed rate will change depending on where. I don't know how it figures that out. But it will change. As you can see it's already changed. And I, I don't know how. But I don't know how it figures it out. But it will change. And, and, it, and it saves you. It saves you money in the long run. Or that's the idea, anyway. We'll put this over here and get this out of the way. So, that might be enough data for us. But we don't actually have a data map for it. See, it tells you we got weeds growing, we need needs plowed, and it needs rolled. And then it shows you the precision farming. There's no soil data. It's, we have a 57% expected yield. So, not very good. So, we're going to come over here. We're gonna fire this dude up. We're gonna come on over here. We're gonna what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and open this up so we'll see what we gotta do. And you come over here and we'll just turn this map on and this will show you. Once we get in there, it should show us what's going on. So let's just start about right here. So we'll just go ahead and take a sample. Well we gotta unfold, we'll go ahead and unfold it. Okay, so when it's unfolded, it actually shows you the green circle is how much ground you're going to cover. So you can pull up, we'll just take one right here. So let's take a sample right here. Now that shows you, it will actually show you on your map after you're done the area. 
So that should actually, that should be enough data for the whole field. But just in case, we'll take another one right here. Once it's, once you have the data for the field, it'll turn red, as you can see. But we're just going to go ahead and take one more. Our samples are done so take a say we've got our samples taken we'll just leave this out now you want to hit Y because you want to send and then on the Xbox or PlayStation you want to send it so you send those in and what we've done is now it cost us $200 it's been analyzed but once you go in here now you, you can go over here and this should give you soil composition, let's see. We want to go into precision farming data. So now if you look at this, we'll zoom right in on this. It tells you right there, now we've got a 46. These right here, each one of these represents something, and it will show you different. Like right here, we took two samples. It shows you that the lime, there's no lime on it. Shows you what happened, what we did, and actually shows you the fuel and amount of stuff that you, you use. Now our yield, we haven't really yielded anything because we haven't harvested. It cost us $625 because we reseeded it again over top of seed. So it actually costs us money. That's actually going to hurt us. So with that, so now we do. Let's see. We want to clear that out. School types, pHs. Now it will show you the pH levels. Then our nitrogen levels, which are pretty high. So we're looks like we're pretty good there. Yield. So our yield does it show us our yield data with that? Can't really tell what color it is, but probably not gonna be very good. Then your seed rate. So we had low seed rate here, high seed rate, our standard here, but no high. So that's good. So I actually saved us some money. Now the pH level, so I guess it's pretty high. So what we want to do is, we're going to go ahead, I don't think it tells us that we need to do lime, but we'll go ahead and look and see what it tells us. So what's it telling us? So there, now that we've sent in our soil data, we've sent it in, now our actual precision farming information is filled out. It tells you what kind of soil you got, the pH level is good, Nitrogen is perfect. Expected yield is now 91% because we did that. that. That's all we had to do. And that's, we haven't used a weeder. We haven't, we haven't plowed and we haven't rolled. Now you look over here though. See, as you've seen, our pH is changing. So we run back over here. That's good. And back over here, it's bad. So what we do is, that's where the spot spray comes in. This here machine, we're loaded up with our lime. So we're going to come over here, and it should have, let's see, turn on turn on the crop sensors. So you can do, like I said, it doesn't matter if you're on console or not. So we're going to, we're going to turn that on. Now what that should do, if you do it yourself, it should be fine. There's one more piece of the puzzle that we're going to add, and I wanted to talk about this before I did it. I didn't. I wanted to show you. So you go in here. You you go into your actual store. I want to go to your build menu. Now this is only if you don't plan to do it yourself. These are two. These are two buildings that were added with the precision farming. This one you can just if you just don't want a building, you can just put it. This one's actually a barn. So. For this test, we'll just do this. This is for your AI. So, 
Let's just put it. I don't know. Let's we'll put it somewhere. Let's just put it right. Now what that does is, if you're hiring out the AI, you're letting them do it. That's supposed to make them faster and more accurate. So we're gonna go ahead and hire this out. Well, maybe not. Now see, this may actually be a negative for us because we're not actually spot spraying or just spreading it everywhere. So it's probably actually going to mess up our whole pH level. We'll get this down and we'll see what it's done. So the pH application, we're up, we're doing good. So it did turn off, so that's good. Alright, so then it did what it did what it's supposed to do. The sensors actually worked, as you seen everywhere it spread, it turned off. So we're all good. We'll get this dude here out of the way. Park this thing right here. So now we're going over there. Now what we've done is we've we have updated our all of our, our nitrogen levels. Everything has been changed. Our pH has been improved perfectly by doing that. So now our score is still at a 91%. But what we've done is we can go in here and now our table should be it should be changed. We're still at a 46 score though overall. And it, and it updates our money that we've put into it. But as you can see here, these are positive. So this is, it's, no, this is actually showing negative, negative, and negative. So I don't know. This might actually be a hit that we take for that. Now it actually says it needs weeding. What we're going to do. We are going to want to grow crops. We're going to advance it. You'd have to sleep on console, but in here we can just make them grow. So there should grow one crop state. And once they pop up, we'll have weeds, and then now we'll be able to show. So there we go. We're, we're, we now we have it up. We have weeds in the field. As you can see, they're not like they used to be so they're just over here in little spots that were there and just kind of all over the place so that's where this here fella comes in so we want to get in here go ahead and get your crop sensor unfolded and we want to go ahead and get this unfolded and now we're loaded with herbicide so what this is going to do for us if you hire it out, it doesn't matter if you hire it out or you do it yourself. If you hire it out, you're going to want that building over there because it just helps you out. If you're doing it yourself, it doesn't matter because we've got our, we have our sensor on the front and the whole, the whole deal is going to spot spread. So, we're just going to turn it on and as you can see, nothing's happening. Now, as we pull into the field, it will start to spray. It'll just spray the weeds that that are in the field. So as you can watch, it, it'll start spraying, and then it'll turn off. So with all this working together, as you can see, I would be wasting spray right now as I'm talking to you because I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. But as you can see, it won't spray. It will not spray. It won't waste anything. And it just gets the weeds. So now we've effectively finished that whole field just like that. And we barely used any herbicide whatsoever because we went ahead and we had the spot spray and we're using the precision farming DLC. So now we will run back over and we will see what, what information that we have. So everything's still pretty good. We have an expected yield of 84, so I'm not really sure what we did wrong. 
but we're still well we're see we're at 100 percent here so our potential yield is 125 so we've got some nitrogen potentially higher so i don't know i haven't tried it it's showing our nitrogen is perfect though so i don't know how we could actually get this to increase over here and why it's better over there and that may just be something that works out after a time or two of actually uh, playing but now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and advance it several days so there are, are, are several growth states and uh let's we'll see what happens because we've already we've already uh we put our lime down we've already direct drilled into it so actually the next if we direct drill in again as long as we don't have to plow it actually tells us to plow so really would need to plow and then that messes everything up when you plow i do believe and then you're kind of at a restart but then the next three in a row you'll be able to increase but as you can see though what happened because we did the precision farming you come over here now look at that we have no data but our expected yield is 52 percent so not not good not good at all but you come over here you're at least 83 percent so just the simple little things that we did we've already increased our potential actually we'll go over here and let's just take a sample if it'll let us we'll just go ahead and take one real quick and then we'll see what happens see what what information we get from this field let's just pull right over here and then we'll just go ahead and take a sample and now we should have data from this field Now, as you can see, like I said, the red shows you what we took. So we're going to go ahead and pull up, and then this will finish this whole field. Over a large field, this would be a little tedious. You do have the option to buy it if you don't want to do this. Let's see. That's done. There's that. We want to get. We want to go ahead and do that. So we sent that in. Now we have full information about this field. we'll go ahead and here there it's went through and there you have your we have our full information about the field so it's not good the pH is terrible the nitrogen is really bad the yield is really cruddy look at that. the yields even at 53 percent now potential yield at 89 so just really really bad now if you're not using it then it's fine but if you are using this mod then you need to try to do all this stuff otherwise it, it's a huge huge money penalty that you take for not doing it and in the end like i said it you you should get more because you do get a positive you you get a positive uh percentage points money i guess money i guess it's a it's a bonus so when you go to sell it's positive so if over there when we harvest that field if you harvest this field and you go sell it you're going to get a negative hit because it's terrible all the stats are terrible on this field so bad and bad and the yield is not good so you're going to take a hit. We'll take a hit for anything in that field. Now this one over here, we will not. We'll, it'll be. It, it will actually be good. So should should pay us pretty good. And actually, I think it's better the farther we go over here. And it, yep, there's 98 percent nitrogen's been a little bit low, but that's a 98 percent expected yield. So we're actually going to make more money off of this one field because we did the precision farming. And we did it the best that we could, accurately as we could. So you're going to get that benefit from doing this. Let's speak that up again. But that's that's kind of really all there is to the the precision farming it, it saves you money it saves you seed it saves you money um and i think the whole idea is is not to disturb the ground like you know most i mean most farmers i guess 
pretty much in the whole country they they do <laughs> no till so that's kind of what you're doing and that's what I did when I started this I didn't I should have plowed it first probably that way all our state was perfectly at zero and then we may actually had a really super high percentage on our harvest but by doing doing the sensors doing the soil samples spraying putting lime down you can see what it's done and I will show you this we'll go in here and we'll talk about this so if you don't want to do the samples okay we already did we already paid for it so we're gonna go over here and if you don't want to buy them then you can just purchase the soil or if you don't want to go through all the trouble of sampling then you can just purchase the soils I don't know what it costs but you can just go ahead and purchase it and then that way it's just done if you don't want to do it if it's a really big field uh i don't know i mean maybe but you know honestly doing this the right way uh, i think with the extra money and benefit that you get you may actually be able to do a smaller farm and actually do better because normally it seems like you know doing everything kind of the right way you got to have all this ground to make all this money but doing the precision farming you might be able to do smaller smaller fields smaller areas and actually make really good money because like i said you can see right here 84 it's so we're still good we're at 98 percent 97 100 percent 101 so right there our yield is huge just from that little bit that we did and we saved money we still have a full sprayer we still have most of our seeds in the in the actual cedar because we didn't we wasn't just wasting everything just from that little bit of stuff that we did so it's a little confusing i hope that i hope i hope that i didn't muddy the water more for you and i i i do talk about it a lot in a lot of my just different uh mod reviews and just different things so i hope it helped well, I do want to show you this one one more thing in here. So when it comes to the tractors, if you go in here to buy one, it doesn't matter what it is. Maybe some of the mod ones don't have it, but every base game machine has this. So you've got the Isera Pro Compact, and you, you could put that on there. And what that is is it's, it's the sensors up there so that you don't have to have the sensor on the front. But as it tells you right down there, it does the same thing, but you can't, you can't use it at nighttime. So, there's that. And it's, it's, it's expensive too. I mean, it's fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 on just about anything. So then you would go over here also. This is another feature that they added for it. Once I find it, what am I looking for here? Prayers. So you go in here, and it should be on all these base. No, hang on this one. Okay, so they don't have it on this. That's base. This is the actual precision farming. And as you can see right here, see and spray. So you definitely got to have that on there. You want to do that. And that saves you so much more for doing that. But this is part of the precision farming. The add-on. Now... These are just different mods. I haven't reviewed any of them, but they're starting to add this to them. So see, they have this too. So there's other things that have that, and that is awesome. It costs you a lot of extra money, but it's awesome because it just helps you out in the end having all this stuff on there. And I know it's a lot to it. There's a lot of stuff, but... I feel if you do it, if you're not going to do it, then you don't want to, you really just want to get rid of the mod because it's costing you money. But if you follow all these steps, you'll, you'll get up there. You'll get your yield up there. Because as you saw, this field was, was really cruddy like this. It had really bad stats like that when I started. 
Now, the only thing I did wrong is I should have plowed and rolled, and then I would say that our actual yield percent would be over 100 right here. That's my fault for not doing that, because I just, I wasn't thinking, I just wanted to explain the precision farming part of it. And, uh, and, and we, and then we showed you everything that you, you would do. So it's, it's a lot of it's basically the same stuff that you would do. It's just a little bit different and it saves you money on how you do it. So I hope this helps. I hope this clears up something for you. It does kind of tell you in the actual store or the information tab how to do some of this, but some of it's kind of, uh, sort of confusing. So hopefully I, did it in a way that you can understand it and do it. And maybe maybe there was something that you wasn't sure how it worked. Uh, I've been messing with it for a little while. So I've, I've kind of picked up on it. But there was a lot of stuff that I, <laughs> I didn't really get it either. So I hope this helps. And I hope you enjoy doing your uh, precision farming. And I hope I taught you something that will help you out in your farming adventure. Thanks for watching.